While it may not seem obvious, in many HVAC applications, there's a need to provide cooling even in colder months. This is typically due to the internal loads driven by people, computers, machinery, and lighting. Running a chiller year-round is one way to meet that need, but doing so can be costly and inefficient. Another solution is to operate a waterside economizer, sometimes known as a free cooling system. There are a few reasons a free cooling system might be used. One is to meet ASHRAE Code 90.1 requirements. ASHRAE breaks the country into different climate zones. Any location in Zone 4 or above needs to have either an air or waterside economizer to meet the code. Another reason to use a free cooling system is to take advantage of colder weather to meet the building's set point, saving energy. Facilities such as data centers are particularly interested in these types of free cooling systems because of the vast amount of energy they consume in a 24-7 operation. This means they will use free cooling year-round in almost any geographic climate. When using an air-cooled chiller for mechanical cooling, all methods of obtaining free cooling utilize some type of dry cooler. The only difference is where it's located. The first style is a remote dry cooler. It's typically a general purpose cooler that sits remote from the air-cooled chiller and is piped together. The second is a stacked coil dry cooler. In this case, the dry cooling coils are mounted or stacked next to the existing refrigerant condenser coils on the chiller. The third is a modular design. It attaches right onto the air-cooled chiller. The last two styles are preferred in many cases because they are designed to integrate directly with specific chillers right from the factory, improving performance. Where there is space available, the modular option can offer superior performance and convenience. Let's examine why. A free cooling system will run in one of three modes, mechanical cooling only, free cooling only, or a hybrid mode where mechanical cooling and free cooling occur simultaneously. When the ambient temperature is too high to provide free cooling, the chiller operates in mechanical cooling only mode. In this case, the fans on the stacked coil design need to force air through both the chiller condenser coils and the unused free cooling coils, wasting energy. The modular design is different. When it's in mechanical cooling mode, the air flows only over the mechanical cooling coils that are in use while the fans for free cooling are turned off, saving energy. When the ambient temperature is low enough, mechanical cooling can shut off completely and the set point can be met by free cooling mode alone. With the stacked coil design, air again needs to flow over both sets of coils when only one is active, wasting energy. With the modular design, only the free cooling section will be active, maximizing free cooling, while the fans for mechanical cooling will turn off, once again saving energy. Even when the ambient temperature isn't low enough for free cooling only, some free cooling is still possible. This requires hybrid cooling mode, where both sections of the chiller work in tandem. With the stacked coil design, air needs to flow over both sets of coils. This presents a problem for the fan control system. The free cooling coils want as much air as possible to maximize performance. Conversely, the mechanical cooling coils want to lower the fan speed to ensure the fluid doesn't get too cold, missing the set point and shutting down the chiller. As a result, the system can become less dependable with frequent nuisance trips. In addition, the system fails to make the most of the free cooling opportunity. In the modular design, the mechanical and free cooling sections are able to operate independently. So, in hybrid cooling mode, the air flows over the mechanical and free cooling coils separately. This allows the free cooling fans to speed up, extracting every bit of free cooling possible. At the same time, the mechanical cooling fans can slow down, maintaining set point and protecting the system, and again, saving energy.
The result of these carrier operational benefits is known as max cap advantage. In short, this allows the owner to maximize free cooling benefits across all operating conditions, maximizing your energy savings. It's important to note that when ambient temperatures allow a system to take advantage of free cooling, a large majority of the hours occur in the hybrid mode. For example, in data center applications, it can range from 70 to 100% of the operating hours. Therefore, maximizing the free cooling capacity, especially in the high hour hybrid mode operation, will be key to optimizing your energy savings goal. While the modular design is engineered and built to optimize its free cooling performance, one of the most desirable features of this design is its customizable nature. Instead of requiring customers to install an all or nothing option, they can customize how much free cooling they would like for each job. Carrier's modular design allows for many different configurations. While some jobs may only desire a limited amount of free cooling, others may want substantially more. With Carrier's modular system, the amount is completely customizable. The modular design not only offers superior performance and customization, it offers significant service advantages in all operating modes. With the stacked coil design, as the air flows over two closely coupled coils, one of them essentially becomes a filter, trapping dirt and debris between the coils. This can make cleaning and coil replacement extremely difficult. With the modular design, there's only one coil, so most dirt is expelled by the existing fans. A normal coil wash will eliminate any remaining dirt. In addition, service can be done on either the mechanical or free cooling side of the system without taking the other side of the system offline. Choosing between the two options can depend on a number of factors, including desired free cooling performance, ease of service, and space constraints. At Carrier, we know when it comes to energy, it's smart to take advantage of what nature gives us for free. To learn more about free cooling and how to put it to work for you, turn to the experts, turn to Carrier.